Previously on Life is Strange. Whoa! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Let's talk about your superpower. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now! It won't work! I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Caulfield, please, tell us everything. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet! Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet?! Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. Listen, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than a friend. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Max Caulfield, hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. 
And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. It's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. At least, I'm alive here with you. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. You don't really blame William, do you? For getting me the hybrid I wanted for my sweet 16? No, I blame the asshole who cut me off and sent me into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. You did? This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. It might be, but... I'd like to think we can still change things for the better. I'd like to think that too. But I don't have much hope these days. I know things seem out of control, but... As long as we're together... I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe. I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max. Thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. None taken. Pretty high-tech lair. Feels like a high-tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you're here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive. 
when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? <laughs> Instead of handing Chloe a bong, I'm feeding her water. Did I give her a choice? Drink up, Buttercup. Oh man, no wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. Uh, yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. What do you remember about us as kids? We all have different memories. I think about us as little pirates running and jumping through Arcadia Bay. Me too. But we're still pirates in our own way. <laughs> yeah, right. Check me out, Chloe of the Caribbean. No way will I get on a fucking boat now. Unless you're with me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. You have me. I'm not leaving you, Chloe. Well, you didn't visit me a lot either. I mean, I loved your cards and photos, but... I know I wasn't around much. No excuses, I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not Supermax. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. They love you so much. I know. My mom and dad are so cute. They always pop in here and make sure everything's okay with me. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks and the medical bills are fucking insane. I bet. This tech must be crazy expensive. Along with the drugs, the nurses, the supplies. Mom and dad are always broke and they get so frustrated. Is it worth it? Chloe, you're priceless. Uh, <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> what do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know, I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. I swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. Thanks. I uh, think you missed a grain stuck in my eyeball. <laughs> Hard to believe how just a little sand can cause such a big mess. It's like that Chinese proverb, a spark can start a fire that burns the entire prairie. You know, like the butterfly thing. <laughs> so I've heard. That must be her mighty morphine machine. No more bongs for her. Nothing but medical supplies. Max, it is so cool that you're here again. I'm glad you think so. She has to use a lot of lotion to keep her blood circulating. There's the old Chloe. 
That is so incredible. And she can browse cat videos on the web. Chloe is still a punk at heart, but she can't stage dive anymore. That's so cool that Chloe has made friends online. Whoa, Chloe can totally control her computer. It's so great people get this high-tech help. I should offer to put makeup on for Chloe. Not that I can, but it would be fun. Man, Joyce and William built a whole new bathroom for Chloe. They're so great. Really my only friends who kept in touch. I, I should have kept more in touch. Chloe's message board since the accident sure looks lonely. I didn't add much. Bad, Max. It's nice my parents sent a card at least. I wonder who this is. Kind of a generic card. I wasn't very available to Chloe. Real nice. At least I sent road trip selfies to Chloe. I'm sure that made her feel great. I still can't believe I put Chloe in that chair. Snow globes are taking over. Oh, the snow dough. I guess not everything changed. So here's the DVD player. Now I just need to find the DVD. Ah, here's the DVD. Now we have a movie night. Oh my God, I made that mix for her when we were 12. Hello, Chloe. <laughs> she likes fluffy animals now. That's a serious heat lamp. Does Chloe look at the garden and think about her childhood? She can't even feel the grass now. I'm glad I took this photo. Chloe has a new memory of William and her together. Wowzer. Chloe was a straight A student. She could have gone to any college. Gutless bastard. I am so glad Chloe stole your bullshit fund. Even if it wasn't another reality. Despite everything, they're still a happy family again. It's cool that in this reality, Chloe really loves skating too. Glad to see her as nosy as ever. <laughs> I don't want to disappoint you. At least Chloe doesn't weigh that much. Oh man, she has to use that ventilator just to breathe.
I cannot believe you fell asleep so fast. <laughs> How dare you. I know you were beat down after the day with me, and Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Uh, do, you, do you think Deckard is a replicant? Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates, jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. <sighs> Fuck. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's... Uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep this wag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. So, are you sure it isn't too weird for you to be hanging out with me like this? Kind of, but only because I haven't seen you in so long. I was selfish. No, you were busy kicking ass. I don't blame anyone for bailing on me. People suck. Just joking. But I do feel grateful I can see the ocean. That I have parents who love me. And that my best friend is here with me today. Exactly. So, what else do you need? Well... Hot monkey sex would be nice. <laughs> oh, look. I made Maxine blush. So, are you dating anyone at Blackwell? Oh, I'm too busy with school and photography. Oh, please. You can't be an artist unless you experience life. That includes boys, girls, whatever. I was supposed to go out with this guy named Warren, but... I don't think he's into me anymore. His loss. You need to move on, girl. Plenty of fish in the bay. <laughs> Shit. I sound like my dad. How is William? Do you... like having him around? Of course. He's my hero. I swear he would do anything for me or Mom. Wish I could do something for him. You have. You're here with your family. More like they're here for me. But then so are you. So it's all good. God damn, the pills never end. Damn. This is just for Chloe's basic supplies. Bonjour. That's great they finally went to Paris.
They gave Chloe their giant, expensive HDTV, and they use her shitty tube television. You should all just say, dear sir, you are screwed. To think that our destiny is linked to goddamn car keys. I'm not gonna say fucking, I'm not gonna say fucking. Yep, that's the same graffiti from before. This insurance is worthless. These whales are just a preview of the tornado to come. And the Prescott Foundation? Jesus. Rachel Amber is even missing in this reality. I guess I can't change everything. They might get their own home taken away because of medical bills. That's terrible. No change to spare anymore. Now it's back to cookies. Choices of food coupon boss. Joyce and William never had a garage sale before. They're drowning in debt, just to take care of their daughter. Such bullshit. <sighs> oh man, the swing is gone now. It must have been Sad for Chloe when William took it down. Chloe actually moved our drawing so she could see it from her room. Oh, Chloe. I'm glad Chloe gets a room with a view. The house looks so great. William finally had the time to paint the house and fix up the garden. Look at all these dead birds. It's happening here too? I'm sorry, Bongo Kitty. But you passed on before I changed this reality. Hey, William. Um, am I bothering you? Why, yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. You look exactly the same. <laughs> it's so cool. Good. Or I'd be scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? I don't know how to say this, but I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. And she's been a trooper. She is amazing. I'm so glad you're here to help her. And be her father. I'm so glad Joyce is here to help us both. Max, I... Just hate to think of what would happen to Chloe if I wasn't here. William, I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will, Max. I was impressed by Chloe's room and all the high-tech equipment. You should be. We could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. The insurance helps, but... Uh... I don't know, Max. I know it must be hard on you guys, financially. These bills are more like crushing. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. But, 
but we'll get through it. Price is always right. Get it? No? Being around you and Joyce again is so nostalgic. Very old school, as they say. <laughs> I think it's great for Chloe to see you. Makes Joyce happy, too. So, it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay. Or is it? The Prescott family might be bad news. What do you think about them? Evil. Next question? Sounds like you know them well. More than I want to. But Joyce has to work for those greedy bastards at Pan Estates. I don't even like to think about it. I was reading about that missing girl. Rachel Amber. Oh, yes. Yeah, she went to Blackwell, right? Oh, poor thing. That's a real nightmare for a family. I get scared thinking about Chloe and that we might lose her someday. What do you think is going on with all of this crazy weather and animals dying? Nobody knows, right? It is Nostradamus-type shit, pardon my French. But all I actually care about now is Chloe and Joyce. My family. So you finally made it to Paris. Oui, as they say. <laughs> Not me, because I can't speak French. But it was a great experience, especially for Chloe. I can see her loving it there. You guys rock for going on a family adventure like that. She talked about going to school there, but that's not practical anymore. It's not fair, Max. I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. It was so great talking with you again. <laughs> you act like it's the last time. And please, keep me from these bills whenever you want. <sighs> Chloe's door doesn't have a warning anymore. I'm sure this is a total coincidence. At least we never had to hide from step douche. I guess we stopped growing up together. Too bad Joyce and William can't get any help from the Prescott Foundation. They bought crutches for Chloe, hoping she might walk again. Toys? I kind of want to open this and see what's in here. Shoes. Chloe always did love stomping around in her boots. I never heard much about William's brother. I'm still overwhelmed by this new reality. And I feel so guilty for putting Chloe and her family through this. I could give Chloe the choice of keeping William alive, but that would be cruel. But then I see that they're a family again, and who am I to judge? It's 
It's all about you, Arcadia Bay, isn't it? Apparently, the only thing that hasn't changed is this view. Oh, Max, it is so nice to have you around. Look at them. They have no idea what's in their future. That is such a sweet shot of Chloe. I wonder who took the picture. William is trying so hard. He's still awesome. Oh no. I didn't realize how bad Chloe's entry really was. Huh. Joyce used to hate smokers in the diner. Joyce is already a super mom. Good morning, Max. Ah, oh, you and Chloe are so much quieter now than when you were kids. I remember. It's nice waking up in your house again. Oh, William and I love it. Finally seeing you and Chloe together after all these years. After the... Accident. I wish I was a better friend. I know Chloe doesn't get many visitors. Oh, Max, you're Chloe's best friend for a reason. You're here exactly when she needs you. Who helps Chloe out when you guys are at work? We have a series of revolving nurses and caretakers. <laughs> Chloe still causes trouble even if she can't move. Max, Chloe's condition is not improving. Her respiratory system is very weak and she, she, do you know what I'm saying? Oh, Joyce, I'm so sorry you have to go through all this. Bad or good, I embrace every moment with my daughter and my husband. This is what it means to be a family and we'll always be one, no matter what. How are you doing, Joyce? I'm doing the best I can, Max. I won't lie, it's difficult, but nobody said life was easy here in Arcadia Bay. Plus, you guys have to work too. Ah, uh, Bill and I have no time for ourselves. We're working more than we're living. I even had to take a part-time gig at Pan Estates, ugh. Do you know the Prescotts? I know that Sean Prescott won't be happy until he owns everything in Arcadia Bay. Stay away from his son, Nathan. So, what do you think is going on here with all of this eco-havoc? Maybe Arcadia Bay just wants to be left alone. I know the feeling. Honestly, I don't give a shit about too much outside our house. I don't blame you, Joyce. Except... Now we have dead birds and beach whales outside our front door. So maybe I should care, for Chloe's sake. Do you know somebody named David Madsen? He, um, might hang out at the two whales. Well, that was random. Yeah, he's a, a bus driver. He comes in sometimes. Cute, quiet. Why? Oh, um, I, w I was just curious. You always were. Nice to see that everything doesn't change. I have to tell you how much I love seeing you and William together again. He's been such a hero through all this. Chloe and I, we're lucky to have him. Chloe and William seem like they still get along so good. Yeah, those two are closer now more than ever. Chloe will actually listen to William while she usually ignores me. Oh, it's so cute when they gang up on poor old me. You rule, Joyce. Shit. Things would be different if I did. I like how you think, kid. I better get back to Chloe now. It's good talking with you, Joyce. You too, honey.
It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine too. Nothing here. The bathroom looks almost the same. Just more medicine. Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. How's it going, Time Tripper? It's funny. I think I look older. Finally, uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry, I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy and painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me, I will. Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse, but you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo, but can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please, my diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. So Chloe has her own photo album. Is that okay? Perfect. Oh my god. Look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> my dad would have banished me. Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. Oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. I wish it was. Me too. This photo... Maybe I could... Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and... Uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So, I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible, and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. Do you understand? Yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11.
Chloe, I, I really don't know if I can do this. I had another friend who wa wanted to end it all, and I did everything I could to try and save her life. How can I be responsible for ending yours? I mean, th there's got to be another way. Max, you were there for your friend, no matter what. Now I'm asking you to help me the same way. I want to help you, Chloe, but I, th I think my help is hurting. At least you have a choice. When you want to make a decision, you can just do it. Look at me. I'm at the mercy of everybody. For once, I want to make my own choice. The most important one of my life. Please, help me, Max. Chloe. I can't. It wrecks me to see you in any pain, but I don't have any right to do this. I'm an adult. I'm giving you the right. But Joyce and William. I already said my goodbyes to them, but they won't honor my wishes. You will, right? I, I can't kill you with an overdose. Max, I'm dying from my illness, not my dosage. This accelerates the process. I'd rather go out on a wave than a rock. And I want my best friend to help me out. I am going to help you, but not like that. You have to believe me, Chloe. Why, Max? You're just bailing on me like everybody else. Why don't you go now? You've been wanting to since you got here, right? So go and don't come back. Chloe, I am never leaving you again. Oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. I wish it was. Me too. This photo, maybe I could. Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and, uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible, and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. Do you understand? Yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. I'll just drift asleep, dreaming of us here together, forever.
Thank you so much. I'm so proud of you for following your dreams. Don't forget about me. Never. I love you, Max. See you around. Sooner than you think. Sorry, William. Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Hello? Hey, honey. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Aha! You can't hide from me forever. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad! Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world-famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. Max, you are being so fucking strange. Like you're never gonna see us again. Chloe, I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I, I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but come on. You have made things different, like my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. Always.
alive. Yes. Whoa, whoa, down, Max. You get one kiss, now you're all over me? I'm just... I'm just... I'm so glad you're here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning grope. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Max, did you forget we've gone over this? I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. Not anymore. I'm just spaced out too. Welcome back to the real world. I don't think I can ever tell Chloe about what happened. that I thought Let's look at the big board and see all our pieces in the puzzle so far. Tulips and vegetables, which I will mindfully watch over, not like me now. I'm so busy with everything that I don't look at I'm getting lost in all this shit. I wish I could tell Chloe how much William cared about her. 
This is a serious expose on the Prescotts. Finally. Staying up all night is the best excuse to drink lots of coffee. Even Holmes and Watson didn't use every piece of information. Yes, Chloe Price was here. There's Chloe's cash stash. Sorry, Principal Wells. I'm so sorry, William. It's not fair you had to die twice. I should have known just erasing that phone message wouldn't stop the police. This butterfly photo seems like a million years ago. How much time have I altered since? That snow dough always makes me think of William and Chloe. That's my Chloe. So close, yet so far away. We have to do three main things. Right. Uh, what things? One, decipher Frank's logbook. Two, get Nathan's phone to find out where he's been during the Vortex Club parties with Kate and Rachel. And see whatever hidden shit he's got in his messages. Three, beat Step Douche Dan until he tells us about Frank, Nathan, and the Dark Room. And I do have a gun now. Keep it in your pants. We'll have to do this on our own. Dude, at least let me kick his ass, then rewind. <sighs> Fine, whatevs. It's your power. Which I can't waste on shit like that. Or Blackwell would be in big trouble. At least you let me take that money to pay Frank off. <sighs> Don't remind me. I just want him off your back. Our back. I know. You should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can dig up. I'm gonna cyberstalk some names and see where that leads. Or to who. And be careful of Stepcrack. Unless you want to hang out with him after you stood up for his ass yesterday. Oh, please. I can't abuse this level of my rewind power. It's way too dangerous, and I need to navigate the present without messing up the past. Oh no, that poor little bird has been trapped in here. That blue dye makes me so happy. It means the real Chloe is back with me. Last time I wanted to splash some water on my face, my whole life changed. This might be the last poster advertising Arcadia Bay after tomorrow night. Since David might be in there, I better mosey along for a change. It's such a warm, beautiful day. How could a killer storm just pop up tomorrow? Fly. Be free.
Yep, locked from the other side. The most expensive restaurant in town? David knows how to get on Joyce's good side. Those poor whales are like beached angels. What is going on here? Looks like they're back on the road to Paris. Joyce really wants David and Chloe to be a family. Somehow, I existed in this whole other reality, but I, I don't know what happened. The more I use my power, the more I see how little control I have over what happens. Now, Max Caulfield exists in two or maybe three different realities. How can I have a destiny? If these alternate lives exist, I hate the thought of William and Joyce finding Chloe like that. <sighs> Thinking about all these lifelines almost makes my head hurt worse than the rewind. I think this all started with my vision of a tornado. My butterfly sketch doesn't exist in this timeline. Like William. Max the Time Bandit strikes again. David even made sure to bag up the dead birds. William never finished painting that wall. It looks like David finished his car repairs. Maybe there's some new clues around. What the hell did David do for Nathan? And what did his dad do for David? Sorry. But this is my official man cave, so no girls allowed. Oh, that makes me sad. It was so incredible to see William again. I wish Chloe could too. Should I have signed the petition? Blackwell sure isn't safe and private anymore. Surveillance cameras at Pan Estates? David must be working for the Prescotts, too. I wonder if David is going to the party. Oh! 
Look at the baby blue jay eggs in the nest. I, I better move his plank if I want to take the shot. This plank is good for nest protection, but bad for a nest photo. Excuse me. Just one picture, please. Click. Another photo from my Arcadia Bay wildlife series. Oh, thank you. Sleep tight, my eggy wags. Whoa, that is a serious padlock on that locker. Hey, David, what you hiding? Keys to the kingdom, or at least David's locker. I knew that number would be important. Oh, maps, notes, coordinates, photos of Kate, Nathan. Oh, yes. Score. Back to Chloe now. Anything I can do for you, Max? I... I was just waiting for Chloe to get out of the bathroom so we can go. I owe you one. So I'll pretend what you just said is true, Missy. Excuse me, that's Miss Caulfield. Yes, sir. You and Chloe still better be careful where you wander. There are a lot of dark places in Arcadia Bay. What do you mean by dark places? I can't tell you everything that's going on at Blackwell. And you've seen too much already, so please stay out of this, Max. Too late. I already know way too much. Like the fact that you might be working for Sean Prescott. What? Who told you that? Nathan Prescott? That little shit ass is lucky he only got suspended. I don't think luck had anything to do with it. I could have been suspended too. I didn't have all the evidence at the time. I... I am sorry, Max. So, are you gonna tell me why you think I'm working for Sean Prescott? I saw documents that you were hired to do surveillance and security at Pan Estates. God damn. You are a good detective. But I didn't get hired. I gave Sean Prescott an estimate. For my own reasons. Anyway, I think we can both agree it's been a hard week on all of us. Especially poor Kate Marsh. I tried to help Kate. You did, Max. You saved her life like a hero while I left the goddamn dorm roof wide open. I knew Kate was feeling desperate. You even made it to the roof before me or anybody. I knew Kate was desperate too. So did Mr. Jefferson. That guy is an elitist prick. I'm off duty so I can say it at home behind his back. Like when Chloe calls me step douche. These artists live in a fantasy world. Why do you say that? These art farts are all about themselves. When I was in the service, I hated the photographers who tried to pose me in their anti-war bullshit. Well, Blackwell Academy is a school for artists, so maybe this isn't the best place for you. I have a family here, Max, and I think Blackwell is the best place for me. 
since only I know what's happening. Of course, thanks to Mrs. Grant and her hippie anti-surveillance petition, I hope everybody feels safer, like Rachel Amber and Kate Marsh. Although, you're like a walking surveillance system. I appreciate you standing up for me, but I have to be a hard ass and tell you and Chloe to stay the hell out of this. Things are just gonna get more ugly. Chloe and I can take care of ourselves. Now excuse me, Max. I have to get back to my camera. See, I'm an artist too. I don't totally trust David, but he's not a hey, real guys. step viewer. I do Maybe Chloe will see that someday. Mm -hmm. I give up William, but defend David? Would Chloe hate me if she knew? Yo, Chloe! Are you ready yet? I have to get back to my dorm. Are we happy? Very happy. I hit the secret file jackpot. It's Kate, Nathan, and Rachel. Plus there's some location coordinates. David is like a one-man surveillance army. Now let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. But I absolutely have to go see Kate in the hospital right now. I want to find out how she's doing. This is definitely Kate's floor. The hospitals always freak me out. I, I hear you. But imagine how Kate feels. I'm so glad I, I get to see her again. I hope it's not too weird for her. No, she'll be stoked to see you. Who wouldn't be? This be it. I'm a little nervous. Just go in there and be your friend. I'll wait out here so you can chill by yourselves. I was a total dick for blowing a fuse when you answered Kate's call the other day. Good thing you ignored me. I had no idea what shit she was going through. And you saved her. Like me. I'm sorry. Thanks, Chloe. But don't be sorry. We're all on the same team. Team Max. Let Kate know we're gonna string Nathan up by his balls then. Oh yes, <laughs> I'm on it. Max! Oh, Kate. I thought I'd never see you again. I feel so ridiculous. I'm so sorry. Kate, listen to me. You have nothing to be sorry about. Other people do. You do not know how happy I am to see you. You look awesome. Is it a stupid question if I ask how you're doing? Now that you're here, I'm doing even better. I'm so grateful to you for coming up to the roof to talk me down. Max, I felt so lost and alone. When I saw how much you cared, how hard you were trying, you made me realize I wasn't alone. Thank you. Kate, there are so many people who love you and want to help you. I know. You should see all the letters and postcards. I gave most of the flowers to other patients here because they need them more than me. I'm keeping the balloons, though. One of the nurses gave me some pen and paper so I could do some drawings. I love your illustrations. They got kind of dark there for a while, but I have an idea for a new children's book about bullying. I was thinking of having some photographs in there too. I hope that's a subtle hint that you'll let me take the photographs for the book. Was that subtle? You better take the pictures, Max. I'm going to be here for another day until my family comes out to visit. How are they treating you? Like they need to protect me forever. They're so upset. And I know they feel guilty, even though they didn't do anything. I was surprised how many students from Blackwell wrote me. Daniel, Mr. Jefferson, even Victoria wrote me a very sweet note. And I believe she was being real. Me too. I'm glad you believe again, Kate. 
I'm working on it, Max. I just pray I can get this drawing right. Thank you, sisters. You really saved Kate. Principal Wells knows how to step it up when he wants to. That is so sweet. Even Victoria signed. But not Nathan. Victoria Chase might be queen bitch, but she's not evil. Good to see that Kate is still working on her book report. Oh, I love Kate's happy rainbow flock. I don't think get well is quite apropos. Those are nice flowers. And from Taylor? Wow, props to her. If this gets Kate through the night, so be it. That is so good to know that Kate is drawing again. It's amazing to just sit here quiet with Kate again. I don't think I'll ever know how much destiny I'm changing. Whoever said we only have a single fate? Ugh, time travel is such a mindfuck. It is so good to hang out with you again. Max, I owe you so much. And I can tell you want to talk to me about something. I always want to talk to you. We missed our tea session this week. That was so not cool. We need to plan, like, a tea shop tour of Portland. Oh, yes. And you could bring Warren along, too. What do you think of uh, Warren? Oh, smart and silly. He's got such a good heart. And he's a cutie pie. You know he likes you. And I'm going to the drive-in with him, so <laughs> we'll see. With everything that's going on, it, a date seems weird. No, you deserve that. Kate Marsh, matchmaker. I'm glad somebody is looking out for my love life. Even angels need angels, Max. I want you to know I'm this close to getting all the info I need about Nathan. Nathan Prescott has to pay for what he did. And we have to stop him from hurting anybody else. Well, I did get his ass suspended, so that might be a start. You did? Oh, right on, Max. I love how fearless you are. So what is going on with him now? I think his family is totally protecting him. Or worse. I never say this about people, but Max, there's something evil about the Prescotts. They have something to do with death. We're going to stop him. I just have to find Nathan's room number, get inside, and get the clues I need. Max, please let me help. I can get the number, and I'll text it to you, okay? Of course, Kate. I can't do this without you. Now it's time for Nathan to watch out for us. I saw Victoria's letter. How does that make you feel? Max, I know Victoria can be a... Uh... Not nice. 
but I do believe in forgiveness and redemption. I might be naive, but I feel her struggle. Me too. I could have taken a picture of her covered in paint, but I didn't, and we had a genuine moment. We all have our moments. Why do you think she acts so mean? She's insecure. If you're comfortable with yourself, you don't need to act superior. Victoria doesn't look like she has much to be insecure about. If anybody could make Victoria see the light, it would be Kate Marsh. No. I think it will take more than that, Max. I have to get back to our uh, mission. You don't know how much it means to see you again. I do. That's why I love you, Max. Thanks for taking care of my bunny. Tell Alice I'll see her soon. Thanks again for visiting me, Max. Well, how is she? She's still Kate Marsh. Thank God. I'm glad we came to see her. Thanks for coming with me. Now let's go pay a visit to Nathan Prescott. That little prick is not going to be glad when he sees us.